Uh, my name is Adam Tucker, and I am the co-owner and head engineer of Signature Tone Recording, which is this area you see surrounding me like the cockpit of audio as well. <laughs> Memorable things about this album for me, I mean, aside from the fact that it was really, really complex and really long and a really hard process, like that was, it was probably the toughest project I've ever worked on as far as tracking goes, for sure. So that's that sticks out. Um, but just the ability of the band to come in and not only lay down the parts that they had, but come in and add layers and layers and do all, all kinds of weird stuff and let me help them play around with things and try pedals out and try different effects out. It was good. It really kept the creativity up while at the same time locking down what's already been kind of established as the music. So that's, it's always nice when a band can really use the studio to its full potential instead of just coming in and putting their parts down, you know? It kind of gives it a little extra life kind of on the, the tail end of the creative process, which I like. <laughs> The thing, the thing I like about Dreaming Saturn is, and this, of course, completely on purpose, but it's the cohesiveness of the album as a whole. Like, you can definitely take it as a single piece if you want to, but then you can break it up and let's do it in parts and kind of digest it as you want. So, But it's, it's definitely got a feel that's very front to back, so it would be a nice album to listen to in car rides or any time you have, you know, an iPod that's not on shuffle, which I'm a big fan of, but I guess people are big fan of. That's why I'm old. Um, compared to the older discs, uh, it's weirder, and at the same time, it's actually a little more catchy than the older material, um, which is, I know, kind of strange sounding, but I think it makes sense when you listen to it. It's definitely, it's nice being the only guy that knows the songs at this point, because I get to feel like I'm doing a math problem at shows, and no one else really fully gets it yet, but when they do, oh, they're going to be excited. Wow!